do I book a hotel in Weyburn? We got you uh, taken care of on the hotel rooms. Don't worry about that. Actually, the good news is you're staying with Greg. Really? Well, we'll see. I mean, we'll see, right? Like, you know, if it has to be Greg and I, that's fine. Just make sure the bed's a little bit bigger than a queen. We don't have to share a bed, Josh. You get your own bed. You just share a room. Listen, remember this. You can sleep pole to pole or you can sleep hole to hole, but you can't sleep pole to hole. Hello. Yeah. It's too short in the building end. How long is the total skid? 60 feet? Well, that's too long. How much room's off the back? The building end of the tank is too short, and the back end where you need less room is way too long. So we are going to have to get the skid changed for the oil show, and we are running out of time here. So i got to call Dallas to see if we can figure this out, because Wayburn's in less than a week. Billy. Yeah. We have a bit of an issue. What's that? That's a skid on that. New tank is too short. What part's too short? The building end. How in the f do they f that skid up like that? I'm not sure. Okay, see what you can find for a mobile welder to come in there and then see what we can do for paint afterwards. Yeah, yeah. With Greg busy trying to get the tank fixed, Dallas works on the plan for their booth in Weyburn. We're trying to get a plan together for Weyburn to see where we're going to set everything. Here it is. This is Greg's coloring. Tornado flare stack, rival hydrovac, oh shit, yeah, tank. We got a call to rent a tank out, and I said, well, the reason to go to the show is to drum up business so we can rent the tank out. Then you're like, well, we're holding a tank for the show. That kind of seems like you're defeating the purpose. So we rented the tank out. So then we're like, well, can we build a tank now in time to get it ready for the show? It sounds like we can. Then we pick up the tank. The tank's too short. So now we're going... How are we going to make this happen? Then we got to get the separator still put on the front end and we got to get, it's just a nightmare. We probably won't have it ready for the show. We'll see what happens. F me. In the shop, Ken and Mike are inspecting DAs. I'm just going to take these uh, DA cells and make sure they're not plugged, run water through them, and then tag them so we know that they're ready to rock and roll whenever we got to take them out. And mom around here making sure I got my safety apparatus in place. If Greg would have tested these goddamn things right the first time, we wouldn't have to do it three times. Putting them in the shop, half of them are plugged. It's time to take them out. Can take them out in service, and you gotta test them again. That one's. Meanwhile, Dallas, Greg, and the crew arrive in Weyburn, and luckily, the modified tank made it too. Last Wednesday night, everybody worked till about midnight getting it loaded up so that we could get it down here for Thursday that, you know, the next morning had to leave, and they did it. They got it all done, and thank goodness that Greg was able to get everything moved around, and the tank skid lengthened and shortened on the other end, and it was just one thing after another. It's just the way we like it. It's just drama. It's a good thing to have a few guys kicking around to give us a hand. Again, everything washed off. Adrian, Groberman, oh yeah. The BOE report, that's what all they do there is spit shine stuff. It's amazing with the sales crew actually getting something washed off, get something done, it's amazing. Absolutely stunning, I can't believe it. The effort I put in to train these sales guys to actually be human beings, it's unbelievable. With the tank set up and the rival hydrovac ready to go, OSY kicks off the 2017 Saskatchewan Oil and Gas Show. Yeah, we've been here today at the Weyburn Oil and Gas Show. It's been pretty good. We've been filling the fishbowl like nobody's business. We got Magoo out there just giving her. Put your card in the bowl to win a sack of shit. Come on, the Hanson brothers, come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you too, come on. Be super, super pushy. That's the key. You make them feel like they have no other choice but to put their card in the fishbowl. Well, you're gonna write on the back of one of mine. You can write on the back of one of mine, come on. Yeah, we've had quite a few people and there's been some potential customers, some operators that, you know, maybe down the line, they'll have a position where they'll order a tank or, you know, 
that kind of stuff. And we've actually had quite a few good rival Hydroback guys that'd be interested in purchasing a truck. We actually had one guy this morning that's looking to maybe buy three trucks here. Don't get preoccupied with the burger. You could have a ton of good burgers if you had bullshit. I can't get out my car. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, will dig, Terry will dig in your pocket for you. <laughs> oh yeah, there's lots of people who don't want to stop. Like, they don't matter how much you chase them, they're not stopping. But there's e people that are easy to get into and over half the people you can get in there usually. This is our first year doing the sack of shit. We were giving out the spices before, but we didn't do the sack of shit idea, which I liked. Otherwise, we were giving it to every Tom, Dick, and Harry that walked past, and then you're just wasting it. That's way if you put a sack of shit out there and you gotta put a card in a fishbowl, you don't have given it, wasting all your chicken shit. The spices have been such a hit, we can't afford to keep giving them away or we're gonna go out of business. So we started selling them on our website. So you can go to our website and go to the store, and you can buy anything from OSY shirts to hats to the line of shit spices. Pete, are you standing guard on the shit? I was watching <laughs> Somebody stole the shit. Pens are a hot commodity at every oil show. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of pen. You could have the shittiest pen there and somebody wants a hundred of them. Pete, quit giving away the f***ing pens. He said don't give the pens away. No, no, he said don't give this away. Don't no, give don't give the away. pens away either. <laughs> don't give anything away. Back at the OSY shop, Ken and Mike aren't having much luck with the DAs. There seems to be more that are plugged than working. Yeah, apparently they're all good. F***ing dust luck in them. Plugged as a f***ing bird. F***ing help a guy gets these days. F***ing on social media all goddamn day. Can't get f all done. And then people wonder why you f***ing drink. As the oil and gas show progresses, the sales staff decides to take a break from their strenuous work. We like to take a few mental breaks throughout the uh, hour. Just cause, uh, you know what they say about too much work, right? Well, I'm really just teaching Josh the real fundamentals of football throwing. <laughs> and sales. And sales. And sales, that's right. Yeah. Greg's been a real mentor. Taught me how to sell. Well, you have such a moldable mind, Josh. Taught me how to throw football. Taught me how to chew tobacco. Taught me how to uh, get mad at people. Taught me how to show up to work late. <laughs> Taught me how to be a dick. Josh! Oh! oh. oh I'm so, so. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> Okay, so we're done the Saskatchewan oil and gas show. We met a lot of people. It was a nice show. There was a lot of people coming out. I'm really tired. I want to go back to Calgary. I want to play some video games. We'll see you in Calgary next week. From the CHQR Traffic One helicopter, I'm Josh Groverman. Next time on Oh Shit Yeah. Well, 9.30, hopefully that Ryan Coke tent's f***ing here open. <laughs>